Hello everybody, today I got my package. What's inside this package? It's the Xeon, Xeon 1650 version two. I got it off eBay for $115 plus tax because seller was in the same state. So uh, I got charged tax. So it came out to $125. What is Xeon 1650 version two? It's uh, six cores, 12 thread, base frequency is three and a half, max turbo boost is 3.9, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to overclock it. It has 12 megabytes of cache, quite a bit of cache. Yep, 1650 version two. Probably can't see it, but there it is. I'm gonna install it into my uh, computer. I have a 1620 version one in there right now, so it's gonna be a pretty good upgrade. I get a couple more cores, a couple extra threads, a little higher clock. Hopefully, be able to overclock it a little higher on my uh, Chinese motherboard. Anyways, I'll get this installed and we'll go from there. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. I put the 1650 V2 in here. Uh, this is underneath my Cooler Master uh, all-in-one water cooler, 50 bucks. Also, who, for those who don't know about my system, I have a Chinese X79 motherboard uh, version 2.4C right over there. You can see it. It's been good so far. I stacked it with 16 gigabytes of uh, Samsung server RAM. I got for 30 bucks off uh, eBay, and uh, my uh, GTX 960 is in here. Everything is bought pretty much used except for the motherboard that came off the Amazon. Uh, this power supply is 1200 watt. Is, uh, I got it used also in uh, one of the builds that I bought a long time ago. And that's it. I'm gonna get it powered up. Uh, see if I can uh, kind of clock so I can get out of the 1650 version too. All right, just finished up with overclocking and I'm a little bit disappointed. I only got four gigahertz out of this processor and I'll show you here why. Uh, the voltage is super low. Let me stress it and I'll show you where the voltage is at. Right there, 1.144. Intel allows up to 1.3 volts right here. And we can go a little higher because I got water cooling. So uh, voltage is super low. There is a mod for it. Since you can change it in BIOS, there is a mod for it that can bring this up a little bit, which I might do because like I said, I'm pretty disappointed. But uh, I'll show you the results that I got. The Cinebench was uh, 1075. It's kind of right up there with the Ryzen 5 1600, a little bit less than that. And uh, let me show you the CPU Z results. The single thread, single thread, we're right here. We're single threaded performance is a bit higher than Ryzen. Right there, we're just at 407. So we're just a little bit higher in single thread performance. And of course, lower than chips like 7700, 7700K, of course, lower than that. And the multi thread, we are just a little bit behind the Ryzen, Ryzen 5 1600, right there. But you can overclock 1600 and get way up there, but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Still, even with a, this uh, moderate overclock, still got pretty decent results. Anyways, if I decide to up the voltage on this, I'll let you know and I'll try to make a video about it see if I can take it up a little higher, maybe like 4.4, 4.5 with a little voltage bump. 
we'll see. Alright guys, talk to you later.